everyone. Welcome to Miss Mary's Maths class. Today's topic is translations. What is a translation? Translation means moving a shape from one place to another. And there is one thing we need to know about it. Vector. Vector is represented by X and Y. It is a movement left or right and up or down. The top number tells you how many squares across you go, positive for right, negative for left. The bottom number tells you how many squares up or down you go, positive for up, negative for down. Let's cite an example. This one. This is the vector. So, it is equal to 0, 5. 0 for x because you don't go to the right, you don't go to the left, but you go up. So, that is 0, 5. Going up 5 steps. Let's try another one. This vector. It is equal to 1, 2. 1 step to the right. 2 steps up. Let's try another one. And that is equal to to 1. Two steps to the right and one step up. Let's try another one. Aha! Uh -huh. This is zero, negative two. Zero because you don't go to the right, you don't go to the left, but you go down two steps. Another one. Oh! This is negative 2, 0. You go two steps to the left, but you don't go up and you don't go down. Another one. Negative 3 minus 1. Negative 3, negative 1. Three steps to the left and one step down. Another one. Aha. Uh -huh. Three one. Three steps to the right and one step up. This vector is equal to negative four three. Negative four means four steps to the left and three steps to the right. And for the last vector. It's three steps to the right and four steps down. Now you see and understand how vectors are read. Let's take another example. Translate this shape eight units right and six units down. And that's the object. Draw a line, 8 units to the right, and then 6 units down, and that will be your new point. Let's get another one. This point, 8 units right, 6 units down, and that will be our second point. Let's get the third point. Eight units right, six units down, and that will be our third point. And for the last point, eight units to the right and six units down. Connecting the points, we now have our new 
object or new image. Let's try this second shape. Translate this shape five units left and seven units down. Let's have the first point. Five units to the left, seven units down. That will be your first point. Do the same thing for the second point and for the third point and the fourth point. Connecting all the points and there we have our image. Let's try another example. Translate the shape by vector 4, 7. 4, 7 means 4 right and 7 up. Okay, so that will be our image. And then the fourth example, let's translate the shape by vector negative 8, negative 5, which means 8 left, 5 down. And that will be our image. Fifth example, translate the shape by vector 9, 10, which means 9, 10 means 9 right, 10 up. And that's our image. For the sixth example, translate the shape by vector negative 5, negative 7, which means 5 left, 7 down. And that will be our image. Let's try last two examples. Describe the transformation fully that takes shape A to shape B. How do we do that? Draw a point and that point. Let's stand to the right and three up. So that translation by vector 10, 3. How about the last example? Describe the transformation fully that takes shape A to shape B, that point to that point. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. 8 to the left and 7 up. So it's a translation by vector negative 8, 7. There you have it, class. Translations by Miss Mary. Bye, everyone. See you, till, see you next session.